Hi everyone, it's time for another shoe review. This time it's the Skechers Go Run Ride 3s. Nice and clean because I've been using them on the treadmill. You see that movie with Julia Roberts and Mel Gibson, The Conspiracy Theory, where Mel Gibson's character is always buying copies of Catcher in the Rye? Well, that's me with shoes. When there's a new shoe that comes out and I've been researching it, I just have to go out there and get it. Well, I've got the, quite a range of shoes here. I got everything from the Split Toe Vibrams, or some people say Vibrams, and also Vibrams Bottoms on these Merle Barefoots. These are so light. Anything from there, the range actually starts here, right? Barefoot running. I read the book Born to Run, and I tried to adopt barefoot running once a week, and I still do that as my warm-ups on the treadmill, barefoot running. And then you got the other extreme is something like this, which I did a video on before. This is the Hoka One One or One One Bondi 3. And I like these a lot too. I haven't tried them for a marathon. I'm wondering towards the end, you know, after mile 22, 24, that, you know, when you're hardly lifting your feet anymore, at least for in, in my situation, uh, they might be a little bit bulky for me. I don't know. So I've been sticking with Skechers. I had four pairs of Skechers so far. I really liked the Skechers Go Runs right here. Uh, one thing about the Skechers Go Runs that I didn't like, and the only thing, is uh, I have a pair back in the States and they started to get a hole right there. They're kind of worn out, but I'm still using these for the treadmill. I went into the department store recently. My purpose was to buy the Skechers Go Run Mebs, named after the famous elite marathoner. The Mebs have a hole right here, and I assume that's for drainage and uh, you know, aeration, keep cool. And I think it's a great idea. I was really excited about them. I tried them on though, and they were, they were pretty tight in the toe box. So they're a minimalist shoe, but I didn't feel right. And then I slapped on a pair of these things right here. So, hey, what do you think about the color combination on those, red, white, and blue? We're still in July here, so kind of like the you know, July 4th colors. One of my friends loves, loves this color. Anyway, the, let me show you the differences between the Go Runs and these, the Go Run Rides. So this is kind of in the middle of my range between something like this and something like this. All right, first off, you're going to notice that this mesh right here is different. And I like this a little bit more. There's a little bit more padding, and this is very thin. But again, uh, it seems like a weak point right there. It starts; They start to get holes in them. This, I don't think I'm going to expect any holes in here. And then, right off the bat, you notice the thickness in the cushioning that goes around underneath your ankle. So, next to nothing, and there's something there. When I took my first run on the treadmill, with these though I did notice that they're hotter there's there's just more padding there and I'm in the middle of summer here in Taiwan my feet were like swimming in these things my toes were squishing around look at the tongue difference here as well so there's the tongue on the go ride 3 and this is thinner uh, another thing that I'm worried about here with the Go Run Ride Threes is there seems, to, at least for my stride, I'm starting to get some bending. There's a creasing there, and I, that's probably going to crack, I bet. There's much more cushion on the bottom. This white stuff is that Resolite. It's kind of like a foam, foamy rubber. Uh, the placement of these, they call them pillars. Let me, let's compare here. For you is different. You're supposed to be able to feel this, but I don't feel anything when I run with either of these shoes as far as you know giving you feedback on how you're running. There's inner soles that slip in here. I took these out because I felt a little rubbing on one of my toes. Still light, but there's a little bit more stability in this shoe. Another difference right at the front 
right in front of the toe here, you got this extra little piece of rubber on the Go Run Ride 3s. Little triangles came attached to the shoe, so we're going to check my Chinese here. It's 238 grams for the size 9 male shoe and 181 grams for the size 7 girls shoe. You can do the conversion to ounces. Bring out the flat lock stitching. Now you can compare. So this is stitching on the go runs. Look at the enhanced stitching here on the go run rides. This is uh, talking about promoting the mid foot strike. So you can see they're a little bit kind of like they're bowed. So you're supposed to hit and roll. And that's true for the whole Go Run series. Four millimeter drop. Same is true for my Hoka's, by the way. This is zero drop. <laughs> and same with this. Zero drop. Go Impulse Sensors. I believe I saw another video, they called them some kind of pillars. And I am not sensing anything on those. <laughs> Progressive Flex. I believe the first shoe that I came in contact with this, this kind of uh, flex idea was the Nike Freeze. I have a, a pair of 5.0s. These, these are really, really flexible. Actually, you can do this to the Go Run Ride 3s too. Yeah, the Resolite cushioning, we talked about that. A four-way stretch mesh, this stuff. Skechers Go Run Ride 3s. I got a package here. I saw the label on the outside, so I think it has something to do with fitness. It was called a Fitbit. But I have no idea what that means. It's hard to do one handed. Fitbit Zip. Wireless activity tracker. Whoa! Everyday fitness easy to achieve. Track steps, distance, calories burned, upload wirelessly. Yep, I got an iPhone. Track progress on your dashboard, online or mobile. Pretty nice. Thank you.